everyone. Welcome to the Wreath Workshop. I am Ashley Greenwood from Three Little Greenwoods Creations. Today, we're gonna be talking about Christmas. I know, it's the end of June. Christmas is six months away, but in the wreath making world, we gotta get started early, and I am sharing a brand new free tutorial with you. So come on in, grab a cup of, co cup of coffee or your tea and settle down. We're gonna make a beautiful Christmas tree bow and I'm gonna throw in some fall as well. So let me know where you are watching from. If you're watching right now, you're probably gonna be watching the replay over on Facebook. I take these lives and I put them on Facebook for those people to watch as well. So make sure you type in hashtag replay and let me know where you're watching from. So let's get busy. So Christmas tree bows, everybody loves them. Everyone wants their tree to look beautiful for the holidays. And today I'm going to be sharing a tutorial to teach you how to do that. Now the detailed tutorial with all of the measurements and all the things that you really need to know is going to be, actually you're gonna to need to send me a, a message. Sorry, you're gonna send, send me a message and I'll get it to you, okay? And if you're watching on Facebook, I'll make sure to link it in the description of the video. Good morning from Charlotte and Florida. Guys, I am a former kindergarten teacher who is a full-time wreath maker. I'm combining my love of teaching and wreath making by sharing tutorials with all of you. So that's my story. I'm in South Carolina in my home. This is our old guest bedroom that I've taken over as my studio. Let's get busy. We're gonna use these four ribbons to make a Christmas tree boy. Hey, Justin, I'm so glad you're watching this morning. You're making beautiful things as usual. Guys, Justin is a fantastic wreath maker at Green Reeds, green with an E. I'm Greenwood, he's green. Go check him out, make sure you're following him here on TikTok and on Facebook. Good morning. So we're gonna start off with an easy bow maker. This is the tool that I have used to make all of the bows in my Etsy shop. So learn how to use this. You don't have to make bows by hand. If it's too tricky for you, it's too tricky for me, get you an easy bow maker. You can find all of my wreath making tools in my Amazon storefront, linked in the places where all the links are. All right, let's get busy. First, let's talk about how I choose ribbons for my bows. That seems to be something that really confuses a lot of people and they second guess themselves. It is not that hard, okay? Good morning, Tammy. She's, cr <laughs> Tammy says she's gonna quit cleaning the car because Ashley's on. Come on in, girl. We just got back from the lake. We've been soaking in, soaking up summer as much as we can with our family. And we just got back from the lake. That's why I'm going live on a Tuesday and not a Monday. Ribbons, okay four here. If you want to know where I buy ribbons, there's a link in the place where the links are. Go check it out. All right, so let's start with our focal ribbon. This is a Believe Christmas ribbon. It came from Sam's. It's called a directional ribbon because there is definitely a right side up and upside down. But I kind of like that it's on a sideways so it's not so hard to work with. This is our focal ribbon. So I'm gonna be pulling colors and patterns and motifs from this ribbon. So I'll always start with a focal ribbon. Next, I'm gonna add my cute little reindeer ribbon. It matches, okay. This is a one and a half wired ribbon. This is a two and a half inch wired ribbon. I'm gonna add this really pretty plaid same colors as our other ribbons, and then we're gonna add a stripe. So I have two two and a half inches, and then two one and a half inch ribbon. Yes, they are wired. I only use wired ribbon unless something crazy is happening and I wanna use something a little different, but mostly wired ribbon, okay? This ribbon came from Sam's Craft Outlet. Deco Exchange, Greenery Market, Calise, lots of good places that you can buy ribbon online. 
let's get started. Easy Bow Maker down right here. Now, all of the details for this bow that I'm about to show you how to make is in an instant download. If you're watching me on TikTok, just send me a comment and I will shoot it to you, okay? Good morning, Margaret. Hello, Norris. I am doing great this morning. Um, just send me a comment and I'll shoot the instant download to you. If you're watching on Facebook, the link for this free tutorial will be in the description. If you still can't figure that out, just leave me a comment in the video and I'll make sure to get it to you, okay? Now, I'm going to go kind of quick, but all of the details are in the tutorial. Got it? All right, let's start with this ribbon. It's a Believe ribbon. It came from um, Sam's. Mary and my other friend send me a direct message here on TikTok because once this TikTok live is over, it just goes poof. And I can't see your comments anymore. So just send me a direct message. Okay? Or go follow me on Facebook and you'll be able to see it. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to use my new sharp scissors. I'm going to cut it on a diagonal. Now, a lot of people use a dovetail. I just like a diagonal. Okay? So I'm going to measure out a really long piece of ribbon because this is going to be a Christmas tree bow. So we're gonna want tails coming down. I'm gonna put it in my Easy Bow Maker, just like this. I always pull the tail down up under my table, just so it is easier for you, for me to handle. I'm gonna take my ribbon and twist it completely over so that I see the back of the ribbon. It's really important that you give it a full twist. Next, I'm going to measure out on the Easy Bow Maker. It's going to be a big loop. Push it down. Twist my ribbon completely over. Yeah, Justin says, love the ribbons ready for Christmas. Listen, it made me so happy, Justin, to go in my warehouse the room over the garage and pull these ribbons. It made me happy. It's gonna make me sad to pack up all of my spring and summer flowers that I never got a chance to use, but you know, we love, we love changing the seasons, right? So what do you guys, my wreath makers out there, my bow makers, what's your favorite thing to make for season? Is it fall or Christmas or summer? Let me know. All right, let's unwind this a little bit more. I'm gonna make another really big loop over here, pushing it down in the middle. I'm gonna cut my tail. Right there. All right, so let's talk about it. So what I've got is one loop on one side and two loops on the other, okay? So check this out. So one loop over here, a really big loop. The measurements are in the tutorial. And then I have two loops on this side, but I want you to notice that both of these are upside down. Do you see? Let's fix that. All you have to do to fix it is you grab your loop at the bottom. I'm holding it with my thumb to make sure it doesn't slip and I'm just going to twist that ribbon over one more time so that my words are going the right way, okay? Lots of people love to make Halloween, Fiesta reads, fall, Christmas, and summer. Tammy, you have to pick which one. Let's do this one right here. It is upside down. I'm simply going to grab it at the base of the loop and give it a really hard twist so that my ribbon is now right side up. Okay? And I'm holding it in place with my finger because I don't want it to mess up. Hey, Scott Waterman, welcome to 
Welcome to the wreath workshop. All right, so see what we got? All going in the right direction. You can't pick just one, Justin. Justin, you're making some fantastic fall wreaths already. It's giving me anxiety. I gotta get started on it. Okay, next, let's bring in our stripe. I love red and white stripe. It makes me so very happy. This is a two and a half inch red and white stripe. Now, as you are making and as you are designing, just because I use these ribbons doesn't mean you have to use these ribbons. I want you to check your stash, see what you got, use what you got, and if not, go buy something pretty from some of the other really great wreath makers, wreath supply companies out there. All right, here we go. Let me straighten this all out. Let me cut my knife's edge a little bit deeper. And just like that. I'm gonna do a really long tail. Now, this time, I am going to start my loops on the opposite side, okay? This is my left, this is my right, the camera may be switched for you. I'm going to start it on my right hand side this time. The side with the two loops. I love all the hearts, everybody. Thank you so much for hearting. I appreciate that. And for liking the video. When you heart a creator's video and when you like it, it helps to shoot it out to more people who would really like to see and learn about wreath making. Okay, so I've got my tail down on my right hand side. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit and then twist it completely over. And I'm doing another really big loop. All of the measurements are in the video tutorial. So make sure you get it. If you wanna know where it is, if you're watching me on TikTok, just send me a direct message and I will send you the link to download it. If you're watching me on Facebook, it should be in the description that I'm going to post. So, either one of those. All right, really long, really big loop. This is a large bow because it is going in the top of a Christmas tree, okay? We want our bows to be seen. We want our Christmas trees to be fantastic. If you are watching me and thinking, what is up with this girl talking about Christmas? It's okay. Christmas is coming. We want to be prepared, right guys? All right, another big loop. Pushing it down. And I'm gonna cut this tail. I like to arrange my loops as I am working because it makes it easier when I am finished with the bow, okay? Yes, Christine, a Christmas in July. Oh my goodness, your tree is still up from last year. Have you decorated it for the different seasons? Cause that would be kind of fun. All right, let's talk about what I got. Let's turn it around, okay? Here's what we have. We have a striped tail on the bottom and a believe tail on the bottom, okay? I have one loop and one tail on one side and then two loops on the other, okay? Now let's come in with a different ribbon. Let's use this one, isn't that pretty? Glitter, glitter, glitter. Tis the season for glitter. It's a coming. Get ready. Again, if you want to know where I purchase all of my ribbons, I got a list of online retailers. Just go to my link in my profile and click on that button and you'll be able to see it. Yeah, and a pretty Tammy, very nice ribbon. Very good weight, very colorful. I have to admit I am a little bit of a ribbon hoarder Give me a hands up in the comment section if you also collect and hoard ribbon. 
This is a one and a half inch. Look at the glitter. So pretty. Okay, let me do another really long tail. We want a big bow with long tails so that people can see it at the top of our Christmas tree. In fact, what I would do with this tutorial is I would make two matching bows and I would put one on each side of the top of my tree. That's what I would do. Do I use different sizes of ribbon for each layer? Where the first two layers are two and a half inches wide, and then I'm coming in with some skinny ones. This is one and a half inch. Very good question. All right, now I'm moving back to my other side. Pushing down, I'm gonna tuck that big long tail up under the table. Now, for this set of loops, I'm gonna get a little bit smaller, just a little bit. You decorate white trees for fall, Christmas, winter, Valentine's, and St. Patty's, Easter, and American flags? Wow, that's awesome. How fun is that? Okay. Next layer, I'm coming in a little bit shorter. You can see about an inch shorter. You can use the ruler on your Easy Bow Maker to measure, but I'm a guesstimator and I am a, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Do not let wreath making or your desire to make something beautiful for your home, don't let the thought of it not being perfect get in your way. There is no such thing as perfect. When I used to teach kindergarten, I would tell my little people that. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doing our very best. All right, so two loops on one side, one loop on the other. Let me unwind a little bit more ribbon. Let's cut that tail. This is really pretty ribbon, guys. I love the limey green color, very trendy. I love the pattern, the diagonal, very trendy, and the glitter. I'm gonna be covered in glitter. Y'all listen, last year, I had to go pick up my middle schooler from her school. She's like 12, right? And I had been working on Christmas stuff all day and I went into the school office, and honest to goodness, my face was covered in glitter like I had just left the inspirational dance club. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm a little bit afraid of the glitter going out in public. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it gives you Grinch vibes. Yeah, very Grinchy. Justin says he loves mixing lime green into Christmas. Me too. I like um, white ribbon, so don't get caught up on not having the ribbons that I have. Go get you some pretty ones. Heck, I bet Hobby Lobby already has their ribbons out already. Does anybody know? Does Hobby Lobby have their ribbons out? All right, here we go. Starting on the bottom. I'm gonna give it a cut without cutting my fingers. And I'm gonna cut it in between the cute little reindeer, All right? Oh, drap, I just realized something. So let's talk about it. This is a directional ribbon, right? Well, if I come over here on my right-hand side and I go ahead and I put this ribbon down like I would normally make my bows, these little reindeer are gonna be completely upside down. That is not what I want. I don't wanna have upside down reindeer. So I'm gonna have to cut my tail separately so that I can make sure these are right side up. All right, so let's just do that. Go ahead and cut my tail. I'm gonna lay this in here so it is right side up. Nobody wants a upside down drunk little reindeer. We don't want him to be too much in the eggnog, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and add that length of ribbon separately, just like this, okay? 
All right, now we can start to make our loops. Carrie Sanders needs my opinion. What in the world? I will only answer questions about wreath making and bow making. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here we go. All right, now, I'm gonna start on this side. You got a 4th of July wreath and you were gonna ask me of the expert. I don't know, girl, listen, I am learning as I go, okay? That is what we all do. So I'm gonna start by putting in like a two inch little tail, pushing it down in between the dowels of my Easy Bow Maker. Hello, Claudia, welcome to the wreath workshop. Now I'm gonna come in and make these set of loops just a little bit smaller than the last one. Good morning, Kelly, Co Kelly Rollins Ray. I'm so glad you're here this morning. Okay, pushing it down, twisting it over. Make sure it's completely twisted over, okay guys? Um, so Carrie is asking if she can use khaki colored ribbon in red, white, and blue. Sure. Go for it. it might be a little farmhousey looking. Okay, now if you want to make sure your loops are really the same size, you can just pull them up and see if they match. This one is definitely smaller. Now it's too big. There we go, let's meet in the middle. Okay, one more loop on this side. Remember, you can get all of the step-by-step -step measurements and instructions in the instant download for this Trebo. You can message me directly here on TikTok or on Facebook, I'm gonna post it in the description of the video, okay? All right, let's cut these little guys right there. Holding down in the middle as I move everything around. Now let's grab my bind wire. This is bind wire. I love this stuff, it's fantastic. This is a Christmas tree bow. I think someone was asking about that. Um, okay, bind wire. This is simply wire wrapped in paper. I get it from Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon storefront. I love this stuff because you can cut the length that you need and want. Now, a long time ago when I first started making bows, I just always would use pipe cleaners. Sometimes I would twist two pipe cleaners together and that's okay. If you don't have bind wire, use pipe cleaners. Don't let your lack of having something stop you from making a bow, okay? I'm going to take my really long piece, sliding it, sliding it up under all of this goodness. Make sure it's even. I'm gonna grab my zip tie. This is my Goldilocks zip tie. It's just right. It's not too skinny, it's not too fat. Right. Putting that up under all of these loops. It's a lot of loops. This is why I use an Easy Bow Maker. I could not hold all of this in my hands as I was making this bow. They would start to cramp. The ribbons would be slipping everywhere. It would be a bad scene. Okay, let's tighten this down. Not all the way, but just enough to hold it tight. You need this wooden bow making holder. It is amazing. It's called an EZ Bow Maker. You can find it on Amazon. The link is in my profile. Go check it out. 
Let's lift this up. That's a big bow. Holy moly. Let me back up. Gonna arrange. my wire just like this putting my thumb in the middle and then I'm going to tighten it without moving the loops oh my goodness as tight as you can get it let's give this a little bit of a twist Okay, now, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine how awesome this would look on your Christmas tree? Okay. Here's what we got. Wow. So, so pretty. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Mary. I have two Marys watching. So I'm just gonna take my hands like this and I'm going to give these loops a little wiggle and tug to make them beautiful. Because you used a zip tie and it's so super tight, your loops aren't gonna go anywhere. All right, let's fluff it, fluff it, fluff it. Because we arranged our loops where we want them to be, they're already in the right spot. Who would love to decorate with this? Because that is so much fun. Wow. It's beautiful. Listen, if you want to learn how to make it, I got the tutorial. Reach out to me and I'll send it to you. Let's make a fall bow. Why not? Let's make a big fall bow just like this because, listen, this Christmas tree bow tutorial isn't just for Christmas trees. You can make big bows like this, put them on either side of your mantle. You can put them outside the front of your house, hanging on the light fixtures on the either side of your door. You can put them on your stair banister inside your house with a really simple garland. You could put them out on your front porch on either side of the stairs walking up to your house. It's gorgeous. Holy moly. Love it. All right, let's get busy. Let's do a fall one. Cause why not? I love to decorate for fall. Fall makes me happy. Let's choose these ribbons. So if you wanna know where I buy ribbon, I have a list for you. It is in my profile. If you're watching on Facebook and you can't figure out where my profile is, comment below my Facebook friends and I'll send you the link. Um, some of that is Sam's ribbon, yeah. Let's get busy with this ribbon. Let's talk about why I chose these patterns, okay? Justin, if it stands still, I'm gonna put a bow on it. Me too. It's going to be big. It's going to be colorful. It's going to make me smile every time I look at it. You know what I mean? All right. Let me put a pin in this because it's flapping around. Okay, so this ribbon came from, I don't know. It's really pretty. It is a 50-yard roll of this fall plaid, two and a half inches wired ribbon. It's the Southern Way, girl. Yes, it is. We're gonna put a bow on it. It's gonna be real big. Listen, when my baby girl, who came after her two brothers, when she got here, that child wore a bow until she started ripping it out of her hair. My name on Facebook is three, the number three, Little Greenwoods. All right, so I'm claiming this as my focal ribbon. I really love the pattern of the leaves. This is a really good, high quality ribbon. Again, I don't know where I got it from because I didn't write it on here, but it came from one of the online online retailers. 
I love the colors in it. I'm gonna put it with this plaid. Both of these are two and a half inches. And I really like this sweet sunflower ribbon that came from Sam's. It's really pretty. The colors coordinate together. Everybody happy, it's all fall. And then I grabbed this fun ribbon that came from Michael's Christmas section several years ago, because I'm a hoarder to go on top. So here are our ribbons. Give me a heart if you think it's gonna be beautiful, because I think it's gonna be so pretty. Let's get started. I'm gonna sit back down again with all of my ribbons. Let's move the Christmas ribbons out of the way. Isn't that pretty? Hold on guys, let me find a place to set this down. So my work table, sometimes people ask about my work table. It is simply a folding table, like a nine foot folding table that I have on bed risers so that it is tall enough for me to either stand at or sit at. My rolling chair came from Amazon. It is a counter height rolling chair or it is a, um, like a drafting height rolling chair. I hope that makes sense. You know, we got to make our spaces work for us, right? All right, for this one, we're going to start with this really pretty fall plaid. This is called raised stitch. All right. Raised stitch is one of the patterns that I loved when I first started making and I could not figure out what the name of this ribbon was to find it. So this is raised stitch. I'm going to take out my pin. I like to keep my ribbons pinned up on the roll so that they're not all squirrely everywhere. Let me get a whole bunch of ribbon out. Now again, we're making the same pattern as before. I'm going to cut my tail. Just like that. Pretty little knife's edge. You can do a dovetail if you want to. That's just not my thing. Do you guys see my mess back there? Let me scoot over so you can see it. My goal for this week before we leave to go on vacation is to clean up. Anybody else got a summer cleanup goal they want to do? Because it's kind of bugging me. All right, let's twist this ribbon completely over. You're gonna wonder, why am I twisting the ribbon completely over when the pattern is the same on both sides? It just makes a prettier bow, that's why. It looks the same on both sides, but it makes a prettier bow if you twist it in between your dowels, trust me, okay? All right, a really big loop. Pushing it down in the middle, twisting that ribbon completely over. You notice I kind of pull it up a little bit before I twist it. Um, it just makes it easier for me. Christine says she's sending the kids to grandma in Florida to purge the house. You go girl. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. More power to you. I'm praying for you. I have those big plans because I have a great need to purge and um, I just don't have the bandwidth to actually make it all happen. So, you go. That's awesome. All right, we're going to do one more loop over here on my right-hand side and push down that ribbon. Then I need just a little bit more because I'm going to cut my short tail over here. It's the same length as my loop. Maybe a little bit longer. Oh, this is good ribbon. It's a really good ribbon. It's thick, but it's not too thick. It's just so good. You're going to do it to make room for your wreath making area. I hear you. Listen, so I started making wreaths on a command hook 
in my children's playroom, which is the room over the garage. And I, I just started taking over more and more and more space. And then when I quit my teaching job, I was teaching part-time preschool at a sweet church preschool here in my hometown. I thought, I need more space. So I took over the um, the guest room. So this used to be the guest room. And we don't, we don't have guests. We have like stinky boy teenagers that would come and sleep in my really pretty guest bedroom and they don't, they can sleep on the floor. Yeah. Let's see. Why use that board? It is taking so much longer than just doing it in your hands. Hey, Kelly, listen, if you know how to make bows by hand, that's fantastic. I just learned how to use an easy bow maker. It's my thing. So good for you that you can make bows by hand. I cannot. I would rather have this little tool hold the ribbon for me. You have a great day too, Mercy. Get back to work, girl. Go make some monies. Let's come in with our second two and a half inch ribbon, our pretty leaf pattern. This is a 50 yard roll, that's why it's so big, okay? We are making a Christmas tree bow pattern, but it's gonna be with fall ribbons, so we can use it wherever we want to. All right, let's cut our tail. I'm gonna cut down. This is really good ribbon too. Not too thick, not too thin, it is awesome. I'm gonna measure out my tail. It's a really big one. Let me swipe so I can see comments better. There we go. Yeah, Claudia says not everyone can make ribbon, make bows by hand. She felt defeated when she couldn't figure it out. Yeah, girl, I get it. Totally get it. You're welcome, Mercy. I'm so glad you hung out with me today. Brandy says she uses the Easy Bow Maker because she has arthritis in her hands from chemo. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad you were able to find the Easy Bow Maker. You can make beautiful bows. I'm just doing the same pattern that I did on my first layer. I'm making really big loops, but I'm starting on opposite sides, okay? Good morning, Crafting on Coffee. I'm so glad you joined me today. Christine says she can't make bows by hand either. That's why she loves the Easy Bow Maker. Me too. All right, loop over here. My pattern is I am doing one loop on one side and two loops on the other with a long tail on the bottom and a shorter tail on the top. I have carpal tunnel too, reads in more by Honey Bunny. Me too, girl. It's gotten better over the years um, because I know what not to do. Good morning, Destined to Shine. Yeah, I know. She's asking, like, she's been looking for me. It's summertime. We got three kids. You know, if my husband gets a day off and wants to go to the lake, Gotta go to the lake. You know what I mean? Gotta go enjoy that summertime sunshine with the children, even though they're grumpy teenagers. I'm still trying to enjoy them. Okay, here's our first two layers. Super pretty. Big loops. The recipe with all the measurements is in the tutorial. Send me a direct message here on TikTok. I'll shoot it to you. If you're watching on Facebook, it's in the description, okay? Next, we're gonna come in with our really pretty sunflowers. Gosh, the word went away. And this really pretty ribbon. I'm trying to decide which one to put on top. What do you guys think? Which one of these ribbons should go on top? That would be the last layer I add. Should it be the buffalo check or should it be the sunflowers? 
let me know I'm kind of liking the sunflower so this ribbon came from Sam's it's a it's a spring ribbon it's a spring ribbon but sunflowers they're fall to me this ribbon came from Michael's it was in their Christmas section I got it on sale sale cheap 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 because we love that Ooh, lots of people love sunflowers Tammy loves sunflowers Catherine the wreath lady love that name perfect wreath lady says sunflowers Sheila says sunflowers okay let's do sunflowers I like the sunflowers too so this is a okay it's not a full 10 yards how they trick you. You think you're getting 10 yards of ribbon and it's not 10 yards. Somebody do the math. It's 25 foot. So how many yards is that? Well, let me know. I'm just going to drop this on the floor in my bucket because I'm running out of room. I keep a plastic bucket right beside me on the floor that I toss my rolls in and then I just pull them up. Helps them from getting tangled. All right, long tail. I'm gonna do it on the other side. Kelly says it's eight feet, no, eight yards and one foot. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Cal. Thanks, Kayla. Let me push this down so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. Putting it in between the dowels on the Easy Bow Maker gonna pull the tail up underneath my table to get it out of the way now for these loops I am going to be making my loops a little bit shorter about an inch shorter twist it completely over about that long I'm just guesstimating it's gonna be okay it doesn't have to be perfect Pushing the ribbon down, twisting it completely over. I'm gonna do the same on this side. This is really nice ribbon from, from Michaels. You never know with Michaels and Hobby Lobby. If it's gonna be good stuff or if it's gonna be too thin with not enough wire in it. Guys, thanks so much for following me. I really appreciate that and thanks for giving me little gifts. I see people are giving me gifts. That's awesome. Okay. Pushing it down. Cut my tail. Push down in the middle with my thumb. I love this fall one too, Justin. It's really pretty. Putting that one up. Just like that. Okay, so here is layer number three. Now let's come in with a really pretty sunflowers that I got first from Sam's during the spring. Go figure. Sam's ribbon is really good for making large bows like this. You have to be careful. Some of it is not such great ribbon. It's really, really thin without much wire, but it's great for making really large bows. Let me measure my tail. Pushing it down in between my dowels. Now, this is kind of directional ribbon, but it's not like crazy directional, so I'm not worried about it. It's just really a pattern. Twisting it over. Let me get my tail coming straight down up under the table. I'm gonna make these loops a little bit smaller than the last ones. One more loop. Push, push, push down in the middle and let's cut that tail just like that. <clears throat> now pull this tail straight up. 
Where do I get all of my ribbon? That is a great question. So this ribbon is a combination of lots of different stores. I have a list in the link in my profile of places where you can purchase good ribbon for wreath making. So go check that out. Okay, last layer. That is really pretty. Love it. It's making me happy. I know it's the end of June, y'all, but fall is a coming. I have a successful Etsy shop and I like to get all of my fall listings up and ready, pictures taken, all the things um, by the middle of August, if not before then. So that's why all these crazy wreath makers are making Christmas and fall now. That's why. Find wire. You can find it in my Amazon storefront. The zip tie. Let's slide this bind wire up under all of that. I'm going to get my zip tie and do the same thing. Guys, thanks for following me. I really appreciate that. Slide it up under there. Part my ribbon tails. Pull my buckle up. Tighten it down. Lifting it up. Put that over here. Okay, so let me get my hands where it needs to be. I put my thumb in the middle. I turn my bow so it's like this. And then I get my wire ready. Just making sure it's even on both sides. I'm gonna shimmy that zip tie over and then pull the buckle to the back. You might need to move it over to the middle just a little bit. So here's what we got. I'm gonna squeeze my ribbons together in the middle without shifting the loops and then tighten this zip tie as tight as I can get it. It's gonna make your loops pop. Cut off the zip tie with the flat side of your wire cutters. Get some good wire cutters, people. Those cute little pink ones that you can get at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, they are no good. Go to the tool section at Home Depot, Lowe's, probably even Walmart, and get yourself some really good wire cutters. You can thank me later. All right, let's give this a little twist. We don't want our ribbon, we don't want our wire to pop out. I'm just like, and that I'm gonna have to stand up y'all because it's gonna be so big. Look how pretty. Love it. So we have our tails at the bottom. Make sure I've got that twisted the right way. Look at those beautiful tails. Oh my goodness. What kind of wire did I use? It's called bind wire. It's in my Amazon storefront. You give all of these a little tug to fluff them out. This is why you use wired ribbon, okay? You can take it from looking like that to that. so pretty. Love it. So this is a Christmas tree bow recipe tutorial. And what we've done is we have just changed the ribbons to make it a fall bow. So just because it says a Christmas tree bow doesn't mean you just you only have to use it on your Christmas tree. Just imagine, just like with the Christmas bow, you can decorate this so many different places. You can put it on either side of your fireplace, 
outside on your front porch, all of the places. I love it. It's so very pretty. If you would like this tutorial and you're watching on TikTok, send me a direct message and I will send you the link so that you can get the instant download. You can get access to this tutorial, all the measurements, up close video, much slower than what I just did. So make sure you do that. If you're watching on Facebook, you can drop me a message. You can drop me a comment in the comment section or it will be in the description of the video. All right, guys, I am signing off for the day. I got some orders to make and laundry to do after our last trip to the lake. So thank you so much for following me and for hanging out with me today. I truly, truly appreciate it. Guys, that are, my friends that are commenting on this live that they would like the tutorial, you're going to have to go to my profile on TikTok and then click to send me a message, okay? I hope that makes sense because once this live is over, all of these comments go poof and I can't ever see them again, which is really, really sad. I wish that I could. TikTok people, if you're listening, we would love to be able to get to our comments again. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. I will catch you later this week. Bye, everyone. Go make something beautiful, okay?